We're on page nine to start. We're going to trim off the top of this. Our first cut, we're going to turn our paper like this. We are going to measure over eight inches and cut. Put your other piece in reserves for now. Now let's measure over six inches and cut. This is going to be our page 10, so let's set this off to the side and we're going to work on this. In your reserves, you will find this sheet on the back. It looks like this. Let's go ahead and trim off this side sentiment. Stick this off to the side. And we are going to cut into this. But first, what I want you to do is cut straight on down to release these two panels. Let's divide these. So let's trim in between. Next, let's go ahead and cut down between these to release these two. And then we're going to cut these two in half. But first we need to make that long cut. So this is what you should have so far. These are the two that we did not cut. Looking at your sheet like this, measure over seven and seven eighths of an inch and cut. Okay, so you have all of these. I want you to stick these off to the side. Stick these off to the side. We need a piece of cardstock. Cut a piece that is three and a half inches by three and a half inches. And the first thing that we're going to do is I am using the floor borders and pockets and I'm using the smallest die here. Now for now all this is is to measure for us in order to get the bracket which I had here a second ago. Here it is. You'll want this bracket. What I'm doing is leaving enough room to have some flaps that I can wrap to the side and on the bottom. So just place your piece down like this, hold it in place. Whoops, I have this the wrong way. Duh. Okay, so place it down and then find the die plate that's the top part. Once you have that, you can move this out of the way. Keep your hand on it place it on your die cutter and run it through. For those of you with the Martha Stewart punches, you will want the half inch punch and just punch, uh, you'll want to cut your page probably, oh I would cut from about here, a straight line from about here to here and use the half inch punch across. So what you're going to get is something like this. And all we're going to do is snip, snip up from the bottom and from the side to release that. Okay, set that off to the side. Let's get our paper for this. In your reserves, you should have a cutting that is about this size. It's the purple and, and the other. This is perfect size for what you are needing. So all you need to do is place your die plate down like this and run it through your die cutter. There should be plenty of room. And uh, for those of you that have the Martha Stewart half inch punch, you will line yours up and cut to fit. You will cut to fit after we have placed this. So just keep yours to the side there. So this is what you should have. And before we do any scoring or doing wrapping, we are going to place this to make sure that it lines up where we need it to. So apply your glue and place it on top of the white, making sure that you are straight this way and this way. Okay, got mine down. I'm going to grab my scoring board because it's easier for me this way. I'm just going to place this here and I am going to score right next to this here. Making sure I'm straight. Trying anyway, right? Oops, I'm a little off. And then I'm going to turn it. 
and score that way. All right, those of you that use the Martha Stewart uh, punches, what you can do is make sure that you have enough and then you're going to score like I did here. And I scored you know, probably around a half inch or so. So I have a half inch flap. So now that you have done some scoring, it's easier for us just to snip in that little corner piece. And I'm going to fold these back. I'm going to slide this over like we've done before. I'm going to pinch to hold it. And now all I'm going to do is apply some glue to tack this down. So you can put bigger things in there. Okay, we're going to need some more cardstock, so let's grab a sheet or look in your reserves for a larger sheet. If for some reason when you are die cutting the purple, I just want to give you a tip here to not panic in case you die cut wrong or something happened during the process <laughs> and your thing is messed up. Do not panic. You can do this at the very end of the project um, using what's left over. You'll just, if, if the embellishment is on top of this, what you'll do is you'll just wait and do it at the end, okay? So don't panic, it happens. Grab a piece of cardstock and measure over eight inches and cut. Measure over six and a half inches and cut. Place your sheet down on a scoreboard. We are six and a half inches across. At 13 sixteenths, we are gonna score. So I need to move mine over just a hair. Okay, and then at the one inch mark, we're going to score. Let's go ahead and fold on our score lines. All right, the flaps on this are going to be off to the left. Let's push them all the way back behind. In your ornate borders and pockets uh, die, we want this top one which is this, and then we want this frame. We're going to center this in between the top and the bottom, making sure we're straight through here too, and we're going to run that through the die cutter. Uh, those of you who are using the Martha Stewart deep edge punch, you will punch here, and you will want to bring this bracket all the way up to the top. Die cutters do not release the top portion yet. You're going to want your ruler. You are going to measure down one and a half inches. Make a mark. And the same over here. One and a half inches. And make a mark. Now set this on your paper cutter and cut in here. I realize that this is down, but it doesn't matter. So go ahead and cut. What's going to happen here is we're going to place this down. It is going to cover, but we want something back behind here. Rather than cut this down to be smaller, we want to use this full size of this panel. So when we do the back side, the paper we cut will be this size. So when flipping it over, you won't see this peeking through. Our page is just going to go right on over. Okay? So we do need to create a pocket here. Cut a piece of cardstock that is four and a half inches by five inches. Let's set some of this off to the side. Using the same die that you used here, we're going to place it down on this. Now we are five inches across this way. So just place your plate down and run that through the die cutter. We may have some trimming to do going up, but that's okay. Martha Stewart uh, punchers, use your deep edge punch and go across the long way. Go ahead and cut from here over and here down to release the top piece. Now, remember this little piece, this little cutting that came off the bottom of this? 
let's go ahead and this should be the perfect size so no cutting necessary all we have to do is glue this down center in between here and make sure you're straight going across the bottom because we will trim off that excess so let's do that let's glue that down Okay, I've got mine glued down. I trimmed the excess off. Let's grab a little score tape here and place it at the bottom of our page. And we're going to mount that pocket. Wrap our flaps and tack it down. Alright, it is time to glue this down. And remember, this is going to overlay over this part for die cutters. Um, note, remember our flaps are off to the left. I had a moment there. I, <laughs> my mind just went blank. So let's glue this on down. That's plenty. Where we still have a little bit of a white border at the top and the bottom and not to go over the white edge here I'm trying to keep it straight anyway okay this first fold out we can actually attach this and continue to work on it through here so um, on my score lines I'm gonna pinch it on the outer score line there It'll make it easier, and I'm just going to slide that right on over, like so, making sure it's all even. And then I'll pinch it, flip it over, and let's tack it down. Okay, got mine down. Let's work on over here. In your reserves, you will find this sheet. On the back is the partially cut off sleigh. Now, if you notice, this is not long enough. So I've showed this before in other tutorials. And uh, this will help you in case you want to conserve on paper and use one of your cuttings. Just want to make sure. Okay, there's plenty here. All right. So just grab a piece of cardstock. And let's start off with at least three inches. And as far as the width goes, what you're going to do is have the same width as this piece. So what I like to do is, there's several ways to go about this. For me, right now, I'm just going to place these right up next to each other like this. Okay, and it's three inches of white cardstock this way. I'm going to take my pencil, make a mark, and I'm going to trim it. So let's do if that. If your cut is a little bit still longer than the sides of this, don't worry about it. All we're looking to do right now is place a piece of score tape at the very top as straight as you can across that white cardstock. Okay? I'm going to turn mine like this for a moment. I am going to match up the corner of this with that cardstock up here and the score tape as best I can. Sometimes it comes out crooked, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. We will even it up. So once you have it on there, you're going to measure over 7 and 7 eighths of an inch and cut. Now it's like we have a full sheet. And if we were to place it over here, it will fit top to bottom nicely with your borders. Now, one thing I noticed is that I'm looking at my outer score line here, and this is just a hair too wide. So, this is where you can trim to even yourself up to down in here when you added that. So all I'm going to do is make sure, just like we've been doing, that I'm over enough and I'm going to make a mark with my pencil. And now I'm just going to trim that little bit off and then that will give me a good fit in the pocket or in the fold out. 
and then we can place our pocket. I hope that made sense and I didn't confuse you. Now I'm laying it down to double check myself. I have plenty of room to clear that inner score line there. If you don't, then just trim a little bit more. Let's set this off to the side for a moment. Cut a piece of cardstock, look in your reserves first, for a four, four and a half inch by six inch. Um, and cut the piece down if you need to. So our final measurement of what we need is four and a half inches by six inches. Grab your same dies that you used over here. Martha Stewart uh, punchers, use your deep edge punch and punch along the long side, which is six inches across. Uh, for the rest of us using our die, we're just going to place that right on on there, making sure we're even and run that through our die cutter. Okay, let's release it, cut from this on out and from this on down. Let's mount this pocket. Place it at the bottom of your panel. And tack our flaps around the back. In your reserves, you will have this sheet. It is six inches by six inches. It's one of the cutout panels. On the back is dark purple. We're just going to place this right on up so we can get what we need. Make a mark with our pencil on the side and at the bottom. And the first cut I'm going to make is for the bottom one going all the way across this way. Then I'll come and do that. That will leave us a larger piece in reserves down here. Okay, let's apply glue. Make sure yours fits first. I should check mine. this. Let's cut it to fit, but we are going to ink around the edges when we're done here with the elderberry. I'm just going to measure mine up by hand here. Try to be apply glue and whoops. Everything's getting away from me. And mount that. Let's apply glue to the back of this now and glue this down. Remember to go, if you're die cutting, remember to go over your side there up until the white. Okay, we got another thing here to do. Grab your trim piece, place it across. And let's trim that and we will ink around the edges with elderberry and glue that down right there. Cut a piece of scar uh, card stock that is four inches by eight and a half inches. Those of you with Martha Stewart punches, you will use the deep edge punch across the bottom. The rest of us, we are gonna place the same die plate we used over here, here. So you'll notice that it, yours will run over the sides of your paper. And that's okay, just make sure you get it straight there. Run that through the die cutter. Okay, so this is what we're going to do uh, first so to make sure that everyone gets a good score and uh, gets a good fit. Because some of us may have used this die, you may have used something else, or you're using the Martha Stewart Deep Edge Punch. Grab this, I had you set it off to the side. We're going to apply glue to it and place it first. We're going to center it so that it has white border on each side. I'm trying to keep it as straight as possible. That looks pretty straight. Okay, once you got yours down, let's grab our scoreboard. <clears throat> you are going to want to score right underneath your first score line is going to be right underneath this blue edge or turquoise. So there's my first score. Then what I'm going to do is come over 
three sixteenths of an inch. Where is that? I'm gonna take a gander. I think that's close enough. Well, yeah, three sixteenths of an inch uh, from that line to the left is what you're gonna do. Mine may be only a eighth here. That's okay. And then we're just gonna fold. And then when you're done with that, you can um, <clears throat> just push them all back the other way. And we can get our paper for what we would like there. And I think that this one would look really nice. So now, but you have to be careful because I almost did it wrong. So if you're looking at it like this, after you do your score lines, flip it up. I almost had us do a big boo-boo. Okay, and just glue that down right like that. Okay, I got mine down. So now the easiest way is to pinch it Hook it over the top, tack that flap down, and there you are. I hope you saw that. It was kind of hard to see. So yours should <clears throat> flip up, flip out. If you don't like this on top, you have the option. Flip that down and do it like that. I like mine like this. Okay, you should have this <clears throat> in your reserves. On the back, it's this. Now this was, I think, a cutting from a page or two ago, but look in there to make sure you have it. If you don't, it's not gonna hurt your thing any. I am gonna cut out Peace on Earth. I'm not gonna back this one to white cardstock but I am going to ink around the edges really quick with my elderberry. I'm going to apply a little glue here and here. And I'm going to bubble it up just a little bit there so I can still slide something underneath there. And I think that's just fine. Okay, there is no other embellishments to this that I wish to, to add. Of course, you can, um, if you would like. Wait to the end of the project because, like I said, I may be revisiting some of these pages, which might be this one, and I may not be. It just depends on when I'm done and I start flipping through the book if I think we need anything. So let's flip this over, add score tape to the back, one down the middle, two on either side like we have been, and mount this in our book. We are on page 10, and this is our base page. Cut a piece of cardstock that is 6 inches by 10 inches. Those of you with the Martha Stewart Deep Edge Punches, you will punch along the long side. Uh, those of us with the die die cuts, in the ornate borders and pockets, we're going to use this middle one. And we are going to piggyback these, but we're going to start by the center, centering this between here and here, and running it through our die cutter. Then we're going to do the same thing. We will move it up here, die cut, and we will move it down here, die cut. And the key to this is to keep it as straight as possible. So we did this before, so let's go ahead and do this again. Okay, I'm just going to stick this on my cutting pad and cut in between here. Okay. <clears throat> Now, for this, we're going to want to bring it over just a little bit so that you have some room. So you're going to eyeball this, but if you would like to know how far away I am, I, what happened to my ruler again? Let's see here. This is going to be centered like this, but I'm going to bring it down so I can see what I'm doing here. Okay, I am about one and a quarter inches in from the side, from the tip of my die. So once I get this in the middle, 
once you find where you need to be, pinch it and pull it over. You can make a little mark with your pencil here. And we're going to grab our scoreboard. And this is going to help us. We're going to have a nice deep pocket. And we are going to score. Boy, I seem to have lost everything. Interesting. On that mark, let's go ahead and score. I lost mine. Little thingamabobber. I found it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to make sure that this stays straight. Alright, let's grab our sheet. <clears throat> okay, so we have it like this, <clears throat> and once you have it like this against your score, what you can do is make sure that you are somewhere in the middle there, and I think that's middle for me. I'm going to make a mark here and here, and I'm going to put this back on my scoreboard, and I'm going to score this way and this way. Line here. Let's fold on those. Okay, let's see how you fit here. Slide it in. You go like this. Make sure you're going to be able to get around. And I am. It's time to snip out these corner notches. Okay. And once you have it, to where it's nice and flush. You can flip it over and we're going to tack down our flaps here. So this is what you should have, a nice deep pocket. In your reserves, you will have this long strip on the back. It looks like this. We're going to measure to fit. So all I'm going to do here, <laughs> seriously, where did it all go? Here it is. I'm going to make a mark with my pencil here and down here. My first cut, I'm going to want to cut this way and then I'll cut that way. So let's do check that. to make sure that you are going to fit an IM. Stick this off to the side for a moment. Cut a piece of cardstock that is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And let's get our scoreboard out. At four inches, you are going to score, and four and one eighth, you are going to score. Let's fold on our lines. Now, um, the flap is going to be off to the left, so let's just fold everything back behind. Um, previously, I had you set aside a couple panels. Place this one on here and it should be a perfect fit. We're going to go ahead and glue this down to the front, leaving a little bit of a white border. So let's do that. Alrighty, let's flip it over, apply glue to this one, and place it like that. Alright, this is what we should have. We are actually going to attach this to this. So let's just center that, 
pinch it, apply glue, and tack that down. Now let's apply glue to the back of this one and glue this down. I'm going to move that out of the way really quick so I can see what I'm doing. In your cutouts, you should have one of these. Go ahead and die cut or cut around it, and then we're going to ink around the edges with elderberry. Okay, uh, either die cut on white cardstock this gift or glue it down to white cardstock and cut around. Okay, the present gets placed right here. However, we're only going to put glue on the underside of here and here. We're going to place this here. So you have the option of sliding something back and behind this. Prepare a blue flower or teal. And I'm going to use my blender kit. I went around the edges. Now I'm just kind of blending in. Get the light blue. Get the Stella. and you'll also want to prepare the leaves. Okay, I'm going to use my blue stickles, my ice blue stickles, just, just some places to highlight some color. Here, all I'm going to do is place it right at the corner here, and you may want to slide something back behind so that it doesn't get on there. And I did top that with a flat back pearl. Prepare a purple flower and I do have stickles on this and this is still wet. You may want to wait for this to dry or you can prop it up a little bit here and this one goes right here. So we have to let that dry first so that when we come back over like this, whoops, Okay, when this is done drying, we are going to apply score tape to the back of this and mount in our book. And this is what we are going to look like. I think that's really pretty. Oh, I do clear. I didn't think I would. And then we'll be on page 11. Page 11, the first thing we're going to do is trim off the top of this white trim. All right, I am going to turn it like this and measure over 8 inches and cut. If you flip this over, you will have this. So we'll set this off to the side for now. Okay, turn this back around. We're 12 inches across this way. Measure over 6 inches right down the middle and cut that. Stick one off to the side. That is our page 12. Let's grab this really quick. We have a few things that we're going to do on this. And the first thing we're going to do is pull this down centered. So centered for me looks like it's going to be on the uh, right side of this fence post and on that one. But to be sure, I'm just going to make a mark with my pencil here on each side and I am going to trim here and here. Now these two leftovers you're going to stick with page 12. Okay grab your your gate die cut and you're just going to line that up and run it through the die cutter. You're also going to do it with white cardstock. Those of you that are fussy cutting what you can do is first just uh, glue this down and um, then cut around. And then we will add some flaps. Now one thing you are going to notice is we're kind of locked off at the top, but it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and glue these two pieces together. 
And then if you would like, and I am, I'm just going to trim across the top there. Cut two pieces of cardstock that are identical. We want them to be two inch by two and three quarters of an inch. Let's go ahead and grab our scoreboard. We are two inches across and at one inch you're going to score on each of these. Okay. Okay. We're going to use our glue and I'm going to tuck back this flap back behind the other and I'm just going to lay this down and there is going to be white back behind and we're going to dab up any glue there so we're just creating our flaps make sure that I get this even okay we're going to apply glue to the bottom of the fence. And then we are going to mount it, making sure we're even here. And then we're just going to wrap our flaps around the back. Now we have a nice pocket. Make sure you press down really good down here though. Okay, we're going to do something different that I have not quite done in other tutorials. So this is what we're going to need. Cardstock. Grab two pieces of your 8.5 by 11 cardstock. On your first piece of cardstock, you are going to cut a piece that is 8 and 1 8 by 5 inches. So let's get that one cut. We are eight and one eighth inches across at four and one sixteenth. And I'm gonna move mine over here a bit so I can get that. Four and one sixteenth, you will score. And at four and one eighth, you are gonna score. And we are gonna carefully fold on those score lines. Okay, I think I got mine. So I'm just going to make sure, pop mine back out so I can still see that spacing. Let's grab our second piece of cardstock. On this one, we are going to cut an 8 and 1 quarter by 5 inches. On your scoreboard, we are eight and a quarter inches across. Alrighty, at four and one eighth, we are going to score, and at four and a quarter, we are going to score. Perfect. And then we're just going to make sure we have a little bit of our thing showing here. Open up the one that has the larger spacing. On the thinner one, we are going to apply a thin line of glue right on that little spine. We're going to make a small little mini flip inside of a mini. Okay, so this one you're going to place right on the inside of that. Make sure you are even top to bottom. The biggest thing that you're going to want to do right now is while you're holding it, you will see that you probably have some glue squirting out the sides. Take a piece of scrap cardstock, run it along that side, and it will clean it right up. And I'm going to do it for the other side. Once I have that cleaned up, I'm going to make sure that I can open this, make sure it's lined up good, and press it down. And then I'm going to open it back up, and you should have a nice 
size uh, cover and when you flip like this your back one's going to be a little shorter that's okay all right next thing we need is another piece of cardstock cut a piece of cardstock that is two inches by five inches okay I've already scored mine to double check to make sure this will work okay at three quarters of an inch you are going to score and you'll score your second line at one inch and then we are going to fold on our score lines okay let's look at our little hinge here the same way I have mine folded like that so it's down in the valley there this is the shorter side the shorter spacing and this has larger spacing okay uh, on this one we're gonna lay some score tape and don't get it on your score line you just need two rows for this and you're gonna trim off and I'm gonna put one on the edge out here and on the inner you're gonna trim off any score tape that is peeking over Okay. What you are going to want to do, and what we're going to do, this isn't hard. You're going to remove the backing off your score tape. Hold your piece like this. Slide the back in first. Make sure that you are even top to bottom. If you're not, we can trim it up. And wrap this around the front. Smooth that out. So what you have is this and you have this little flap thing here. With that flap we are now going to attach this and we're just going to do the attaching the way we've done before. We're going to hold it, pinch it, and tack it down. So this is what you should have. And you should be able to open it up and flip through it. And you can see the nice white straight line of your fold out. Okay, let's move on to getting what we need In here. In your paper pack, you will have this. It is blue. On the back is another cutout. Let's go ahead and trim off the top. Okay, let's go ahead and flip this over. Line this up to the top. Leave yourself a white border on the left and the top here and we are going to measure to fit. So I'm just going to do that and right there. I'm going to go ahead and cut down first and then I'll cut that. So let's do that. Okay, I got mine. I'm just going to open this up. It's easier for me. And I am going to glue that right on down. So let's do that. Okay, I got mine down and I moved it back. Uh, in your paper pack you will have this sheet on the back it's the purple let's go ahead and trim off this top piece and then we're gonna trim right across there and I'll show you what mine looks like so this is what you should have let's stick this in our reserves and I am going to get this one out so I'm just gonna cut here and here now if you do not want to use this you can just leave this alone and or do your own thing on it. This I am just going to place right here. So I'm going to glue this down. It's kind of like the cover of the book. I'm going to center that as best I can. Okay, and here is for our photos. 
So let's get our paper. In your reserves, you will have this. Let's go ahead and cut out this one and this one. And on the back, it's this. Okay, on this one, just flip it over and glue this part down. This one, apply glue and glue it down right there. Okay, let's go ahead and flip this open. Let's grab these back out of reserves. I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to measure to fit, leaving a white border around. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that. I'm also going to grab this one and I'll probably just use this one as a template to get the same size. So let's do that. Once you have both yours cut, let's glue those down. Let's flip that to the next page. In your reserves, you should have two of these. All I'm going to do is measure these up to fit, trim to fit anyway. And then what I'll do is double check to make sure they fit and glue them down. Okay, I got mine down. Now it's time for the last one. In your reserves, you should have a small piece that looks like this. And we're going to leave a white border around it. So I'm going to try and keep it as even as possible there with my border. And I'm going to trim it and then glue it down. Okay, I've got mine down. Let's go ahead and flip this all the way. And we are going to glue bling down around this sentiment here to make it really pop. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut pieces to fit and use my white glue. Okay, I have mine down. Um, this page is complete. Let's go ahead. As soon as your bling is done drying, flip it over, put your score tape, and mount this in our book. We are on our final page, page 12. Um, here's our base sheet. These two you had stuck off to the side. Go ahead and cut two pieces of cardstock that are identical. That is four inches by four and one eighth. And once you do that, let's go ahead and just set these right on up here. For this page, we're going to leave this back piece alone, meaning you're going to be able to put a nice size picture in here, whether it be a 5 by 7 or whatever you'd like to do. So what we have going here is fold outs with pockets to store extra uh, photos. So let's go ahead and grab a piece of cardstock. Cut a piece of cardstock that is 8 inches by 6 inches. Let's grab our scoreboard and we are six inches across. At the half inch mark, we are going to score. And at the, let's see, one, two, three, four, five eighths of an inch, you are going to score. Let's go ahead and fold on our score lines there. And flaps are going to be off to the right. Let's go ahead and attach this right off the bat. So line it up, pinch it, and let's tack this down. And we will move that back. In your reserves, you should have this blueprint. It looks like my camera moved on me here. On the back it looks like this. We're going to place it up here and we are going to leave a white border going around. So we're going to just, our first cut is actually going to be here and then we are going to cut across that way. So let's go ahead and cut our page to fit. Check to make sure you're going to fit and still have a white border and I do. 
So I'm going to stick this off to the side. Check your reserves for this piece. You want, and if you can't find it, cut a piece that is five inches by eight inches. In your Regal Borders and Pockets die, we're going to use this top plate with the this plate to go on top. Set that off to the side. We're just going to center this and run that through the die cutter. And then those of you with the Martha Stewart punches, you'll use the deep edge punch and punch along the long side. Cut from side to side to release. And let's mount our pocket. And tack it down. We can go ahead and add glue to the back of this and mount this. In your reserves, you should have a 6x6 six six panel piece that looks like this, and it's dark purple on the back. We are going to measure to fit. So, just going to make a mark here. And a mark across here. So my first cut's going to be this way, and then that way. Grab your elderberry or dark purple and ink across the top of your piece. Now let's glue that down. In your reserves we are going to cut out Peace and Noel as well as this small tag. I cut out Peace and Noel and I am going to take my elderberry and just kind of get around the edges here of each one. Let's grab a piece of white cardstock. We're going to mount this to it and cut around it, leaving a white border. Okay, we are going to apply glue just underneath this and under here. This will serve as a little pocket. We are going to slightly angle this, like so. Piece and Noel. Let's, we're not going to back these, we're just going to do the best we can here. And we're going to place it right here on this gift. Now we need our piece for that. Prepare a turquoise flower, and we're just going to plant that. And I do have the leaves and the stickles, and we're just going to stick that right there. And once your stickles dry, we're going to flip to the inside of our album. I took a little break so that this could dry. Let's flip this open and get for the inside. In your reserves, you will have this. Let's flip it over. And we are going to mark with our pencil here and here and cut that to fit. Okay, make sure you fit and I fit. Cut a piece of cardstock that is three and a half inches by say eight and a half inches. Martha Stewart punchers, go ahead and use your deep edge punch and punch along here. Uh, die cutters, I'm going to use this plate, but I am going to use the thinner <coughs> one that goes on top. Let's center that and run that through the die cutter. Die cutters cut in from the sides. Let's mount our pocket. Wrap our flaps around the back and tack it down. Let's apply glue to the back of this and mount this. In your reserves, you should find a scrap like this. We're just going to place that right on down. And we are going to cut to fit. Ink with your elderberry across the top and glue it down. Cut a piece of bling to fit across. and glue that down. In your reserves you should have this piece on the back. It looks like this. Let's go ahead and trim to get this out. Apply glue to this and mount to a piece of cardstock leaving a white border around. Okay, set that off to the side. Put 
first thing that we're going to do is glue this down and you're going to leave a little bit of a white border here to match the top and I am four inches across so let's apply glue one is going to come over to the left of your page like so and the other one is going to lay here I'm going to lay mine down because I want them to match up so I'll apply my glue first and match this up as best I can anyway all right let's get our scoreboard my first piece is here and the white is over here at three and one eighth we are going to score and then we are going to score at three and seven sixteenths right about there so let's do that erase any pencil marks let's fold back so this is quite a deep Thing. So let's get this up here and I'm going to turn it over like this so it's upside down. At 3 and 1 8 I'm going to score it and 3 and 7 16 the same as the other I'm going to score it again. back. We are going to need a magnet for this. The first thing I want to do though is to attach. So I'm going to bring it down to the bottom, pinch it, and attach. Move that back. I'm also going to attach this one. This one's a little bit easier because we have the thicker thickness over there. We're going to line those up, pinch it, and tack it down. Perfect. Make sure I got that down there. Let's grab a magnet. Okay, flip this one out and place a magnet just right about here. Okay, what's going to happen is we're going to have something that's going to come over from this and it's going to attach to it. In your reserves, grab this. Let's cut out Merry Christmas. If you don't have Merry Christmas, choose another sentiment. We're going to back this to white cardstock leaving a frame, but don't glue it down yet. Okay, so let's first just cut around it. Okay, place this down paste your white cardstock down so you're gonna just gonna put enough glue over there okay grab the mate to the magnet place it down place some glue now glue this over whoops now apply glue and glue this over okay this should stick This piece here, glue down to the inside of your panel. In your reserves, you should find this sheet. Measure to fit. Let's trim. Let's apply our glue. And glue this down. Look in your reserves for joy to the world. ink around the edges with elderberry and mount that. Prepare a couple flowers and leaves. I have the blue and I have this. 
and I'm going to glue this one right up here. And I am using my flower stamens. And this one's just going to get, whoops, get that on there. And this one just goes right here. I do want to add one more thing. In your reserves, you will find this cut out in the back. It looks like this. Let's apply glue to this. I want to give this page just a little more color. My stickles are still drying. I'm just going to slip that right on in there. And to me, that looks much better. Now this page is complete. Okay, we now are done. And you know, uh, flipping back through here, I really don't see anything else that I would wish to add. Um, however, feel free to go ahead and add as much um, as you would like at this point. Um, after we attach the, the dritz, the only the side closure here, the only thing that you uh, need to do is your picture mats and some tags or journaling areas. You don't need me for that. Um, everybody has their own um, taste and sizes of photos, so you should have plenty there. If you find you want to add even more than what you get out of the leftovers, um, match up some solid colored uh, cardstock, and that works just as well. So let's grab our hook, and all I'm doing is feeding through some ribbon, and I cut more than I need. So um, all we do now is bring it, hook it, bring it over here, and I am just going to cut what I need, and I am holding it here. You can use white glue and binder clip it, or hot glue if you'd like. That's what I'm doing. Now all I'm going to do is create a bow, and this is going to be my finishing touch to back here with the bow. And I think I'm going to place mine at an angle. I think that would look good. Okay. And I'm going to cut my tails down a little bit here. And I'm also going to add a flat back pearl. Got one right here. Make sure it's down. Okay. Our book is complete. Thanks once again for joining me on this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed making it. As always, you can um, definitely message me any questions that you have and uh, I'll see you next time on my next tutorial. Happy crafting!